Hello everyone, you're welcome to today's class. So in this video, we shall be looking at the BEC 2023 questions paper one. Specifically in this video, we shall be looking at the first 10 questions. Subsequently, we'll be solving them one by one. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to look at paper one. So the question asks us to find the square of 30. That is 30 squared. So if you want to find it, there's no for you to use calculator in this question. So what you're going to do is the square 30 is 10, 3 times 10. And when you square it, that is 3 squared times 10 squared. That gives 9 times 100. And that gives us 900. So that is a question number one. Number two, the question asks us to find the square root square root of 75 divided by 300 so the first thing that will come to your mind we want to find the square root of this is we cannot find the square root of 75 likewise we cannot find the square root of 300 so what we're going to do we look for a number that can go in 300 and as well can go in 75 but we have to be smart about this so 5 can go. But if we use 5 to divide this, this will give us 60. And we can't find the square root of 60. So, But if you use 3, this will give us 100. And we know that we, we can find the square root of 100. Then what about 75? Can we find... So when you use 3 to divide this, it will give us 2 and uh, what, 25. So we can also find the square root of 25. So this is 100. So we're looking for this. So that means we have square root of 25 which is what 5 square root of 100 which is what 10 so we have this to be 5 can go here 1 5 can go here 2 that is 1 divided by what 2 that gives us the answer to question number 2 for number 3 so the question asks us to express 6 1 61000 782 in standard form so what we're going to do here standard form means you have to express it as a multiplied by 10 raised power n noting that a here is between a number to a digit number a digit number before the small point that is from 1 to what 9 so you must you must not have two digit numbers like 10 11 and so on and so forth so for that purpose this 61,782 is same as writing 61,782.00 so we have to bring this decimal point to this place so the shortcut to this is just let's move it one two three four so that gives us six point one seven eight two times 10 raised power how many times do we mo move it we move this four times so raised power what, four number four the same thing express this oh sorry this one is on express this to three significant figures we have zero point zero zero three zero seven five two so three significant figures so this is quite different from decimal places. If the question is on decimal places, we start from here. But the significant figures here, the first one is for three. Not zero, not this one, not this one. These zero, zero, zero here are insignificant. They are not significant. So the first one is three. So this is the first one. This is the second one. And this is the word, third one. So we consider the next digit after, after the third one, where we want to stop. So which is what, five. If it is five, or more so we had one to this but if this is less than five we not had anything to it so in that case we're going to have add one to this seven that gives us it so answer will then be zero point zero zero three zero eight so that gives us the answer in that case so this is three significant figures so number five the question asks us to simplify 
simplify 7 divided by 13 divided by 3 or 4. So in this case, this is uh, division of fractions. So what we're going to have here is 7 divided by 13. So we change this to multiplication and we, what, we flip this. So denominator will become numerator. Why numerator become what? Denominator. So this is what we're going to have. So you now look at it. Do we have any number that we can use to divide the denominator and numerator? So if we don't have any, so we then 7 times 4, then 13 times what, 3. So this gives what? 28 divided by what? 39. So that is the answer. That's option B. This question, this is addition of fractions. Simplify. Simplify. 2 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 5. So the best way to do this, fastest way, the LCM of this is 15. So what we're going to do, with this we multiply this. And this we multiply this. We add them together. So this is 2 times 5. That is 10 plus 3 times 1. That is 3. So that gives us 13 divided by what? 15. That will be the answer. That's option A. Question number 7. Question number 7. Express. Express 108 as a product of its prime factors. So we want to express this as product of its prime factors. So what we're going to do, we're going to use prime numbers to divide it throughout. So 108, then the first prime number we have is 2. So 2 in 10, that is 5. 2 in 8, that is 4. 2 can still go. 2 in 5, that is 2. Carry 1. In 14, that is 7. 2 cannot go again. 3 can go this time around. So that is 9. 3 can still go 3. 3 can still go 1. So in that case, we can say 108 expressed as product of its prime factors means 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. So that gives 2 raised to power 2 in index form. So how many 2 do we have? We have 2. That's 2 raised to power 2 multiplied by how many do you have here? We have 3. That is 3 raised to power what? 3. So that gives us what? The answer to this one. So that is option option B. For number 8, you can still do that here. So for number 8, convert 9 O number 1 all over 7 as to improper fraction. So improper fraction, this is mixed fraction. So what we're going to do, that will be 9 multiplied by 7 plus the numerator. So we're going to, we are using the old number to multiply the denominator. Then we then had the numerator plus 1 divided by the denominator, which is 7. So 9 times 7 is what? 63 plus 1 divided by what? 7. That gives what? 64 divided by 7. This is the answer. Then for question number 9, the question says divide 100 by the positive difference between 65 and 75. We are dividing 100 by positive difference between 65 and 75. That means 75 minus 65. So we're saying 100 divided by what? 10. That gives what? 10. This is straightforward. But if guys is not, if, it, if you fail to read the question properly, you miss it. Question number 10. So express... 46 base 8 as denary. As denary. So denary means base 10. Base 10. So we want to change this to base 10. That is 46 base 8. So what we're going to do, we start from this. We start from the first letter by the right here. For the first number rather, sorry. 0. 1. So we then multiply 
So that means we're going to pick four multiplied by the base, which is base eight. Raised to power what you have on it, raised to power one plus six, the next number multiply by what the base eight raised to power this, that is what zero. So we then have four, eight raised to power one is still eight plus six times eight to the power zero is what one. Anything raised to power zero is what one. Even if it is one million raised to power zero, the answer is what one. So take note of that. So in that case, we're going to have this 4 times 8. That gives us 32 plus 6. So we then have 38 base what? Base 10. So that is the end of this video. So in the next video, so we'll continue from where we start, which is question 11. Then we solve it to question 20. So if you find this video helpful and useful to you, Kindly give us a big like and a subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on our uh, invaluable videos. So thank you for your attention. So see you in the next video.